Hi, my name is Russ Leonard. I'm a member of the Litchfield Hills Amateur Astronomy Club, and I live in the Plantsville section of Southington. In front of me is an Orion Starblast 4.5 inch reflecting telescope that the Southington Public Library will loan out as a part of an astronomy package in a very similar way that you check a book out. I want to go over a few of the operating procedures for this and some things that you can look at and describe some of its different characteristics. First of all, as far as safety is concerned, you never look at the sun with this telescope. This telescope is not a solar scope. This telescope gathers approximately 250 times as much light as the human eye can gather. You know that if you went outside on a sunny day and tried to look at the sun without sun, some type of dark sunglasses or solar shield, it would be very painful. So at 250 times the light gathering power, this telescope would cause instant permanent eye damage, probably blindness. So that's extremely important. It's a very simple operation, as far as this telescope is concerned. It's a, New a Newtonian reflecting telescope. It's named after Sir Isaac Newton, who made the first practical reflecting telescope in 1672. As you can see, it swivels back and forth and up and down very easily. There are several black caps on this telescope, and they cover certain screws that we really don't want anyone to touch. The telescope has been aligned, set up for tension and adjustment, and there's really no need to touch anything except for two different things. One is the altitude up and down tightening clutch, which is here. And the other is the focusing knob, which is right here. And this telescope has a four and a half inch parabolic primary mirror in the back and a secondary mirror in front. The eyepiece is located right here. There's no reason to remove the eyepiece. This eyepiece gives a magnification of 50 times with this telescope and gives a field of view a little over two times the size of a full moon. It's mounted on what's called an alt azimuth telescope mount. Very simple, alt is the altitude, 90 degrees is straight up, and azimuth is for rotational. With azimuth, zero degrees is north, 180 degrees is south. Some hints as far as using this telescope. First of all, there are dust covers over the main tube, some Velcro on there, just stick it right on the base, and a dust cover on the eyepiece cap. First thing that most people should probably look at is the moon. Uh, the best time to look at the moon is about two days before the first quarter moon to about two days afterwards. You'd be amazed at the stunning views you'll get of the moon with this telescope. Other things you'd be able to see, you'd be able to see the four primary moons of Jupiter, you will be able to see the rings of Saturn, and many different star clusters. Now because of its field of view you will not be able to see an entire constellation. It's very simple to use, has a carrying handle, it's lightweight, but it's still a delicate instrument because there is a mirror in the back and a mirror in the front. Now as part of this astronomy package, when you check this telescope out the library, you'll also get a book called Night Watch. the Smithsonian Institution Guide to Stars and Planets, a star wheel for locating constellations, and a CD called Skylight, First Light Edition by Celestron. Now there are many apps that you can download to an iPhone or an iPad that let you point your iPad or iPhone towards the sky and it'll tell you what you're looking at. It's certainly not a toy. It's a very capable telescope. Take good care of it and enjoy it.